Hello everyone, my name is Delimok and this is 21.4 update review. Let's start. Let's start with the traders when weapons, you can see them, the review of them will be really soon, but I already see that they will be at least not bad. Veteran chest has been reworked and that's great, but just look how many XP you need and how many parts you get. By the way, you need 250 parts, of course now it's unavailable to get this weapon, because amount of the XP you need to grind is insane and you cannot grind this XP now, that's why we are waiting some changes from the developers. Bottle pass, lottery and event, let's check them later, first let's check the new game mode. It called arms race, I think you know how the arms race works, and uh, I think it's one of the most balanced game modes. Now, the weapons are same to everyone, the wear and modules are disabled, and as you can see in this mode we can use the weapons, which are not available for a current moment. This is the event weapons, the uh, current weapon is from the bottle pause, and in my opinion that is a cool idea to introduce them here, in this way, I like it. Above the weapons you can see how many frogs you need to do to raise your level and uh, with the common weapon it's 2 frogs, with the event gun it's 3 frogs. And developers, please buff this weapon, it's very hard to play with it in this mode and in the simple mode too. When you reach the last level you're getting the melee weapon, here it is ruler and uh, you just need to make one frog to win. And I won this battle by the way. Back to the battle pass, lottery and event. So what we can see in the battle pass, first is this pistol which reminds me Thunderer. The weapon is based on the rainbow dash from My Little Pony, please don't ask me from where I know this. What about other weapons, you already seen this one, by the way it has unlimited ammo. There is the sniper rifle, this one, don't know how good it will be, we will check it later when it will be released. And the heavy weapon, is it heavy? Yes, it's heavy, with the armor restore mechanic and the fire rate 55. Really interesting how good is it. What about lottery? Weapons here has really interesting mechanics. Just uh, let's start with this, this is most common weapon, it has a charm and flamethrower and that's all. Just charms, flamethrower, yes. Then we have said magnet, pulling towards target and rockets in one weapon, really interesting how it looks like in the battle, uh, really interesting how this pistol will be in the battle, because the area damage and blindness is interesting, how it will work, will the blindness work only if you directly hit your enemy. And the primary weapon has bullet travel, it has a rocket mechanic, has damage during reloading, that's interesting how powerful it will be. And it has just an area damage, don't think it will be powerful on the primary weapon. Event weapons, by the way, with all of these weapons you already can play in the new game mode. This is heavy and I already played with it, it has slows the target and blindness, and uh, I am sure that it will be not bad. Pencil spear, in my opinion nothing special, haha, <laughs> nothing special. It hasn't any new super cool mechanics, but it's just not bad. And Eraser Crossbow, guys, if you haven't Aphrodite Crossbow, if you hate Aphrodite Crossbow, this weapon will be pain, because this is just an Aphrodite Crossbow, it, it's just the same to it. And I hope it will not be overpowered like the weapon I just mentioned. A couple more changes. Pixel Vanium map now available at the Battle Royale, that's just a map from the free play, and that's great that it's now available in this mode. The free play map got some changes, but I will not show you all of them, because it's it's a lot of time and I haven't it, it's better for you to see it by your own eyes. And some improvements like this, I like it, it's informative, it's great. Thank you for watching guys, press like button, write your comments what do you think about this update, personally I really like it, it's much better than the previous one. And of course, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye, and I hope to see you soon.